Hey everyone, this is Brandon from Everything Film Equipment and today we're going to talk about the Shimvolt ZO1000 Wireless Video Transmission System. The Shimvolt ZO1000 features low latency at 80 milliseconds, 1000 foot range, a fanless system, app monitoring, and can be powered through an NPF battery. So now let's talk about the OLED display. So as you can see, the screen's pretty dim. It can be difficult when, with our testing to see this outside. In the top left, you can see the connection. In the top right, you can see the video format, the group, the channel, and then your battery voltage. With our testing, we found that it was very difficult to change the group and the channel number between the devices. However, we did find that if we changed the channel number, the receiver or the transmitter would automatically adjust. So in our opinion, this doesn't have a huge effect. Now we'll show the rest of the interface. We've got three buttons on the top, the left button, the middle button's the menu button, and the right button is the right button. And then we've got the screen here. It says when it's, that it's the receiver here. On the bottom, we've got a quarter inch thread. On the left, we've got HDMI out. And then on the transmitter, we have HDMI in. This also takes SDI in and SDI out. On the other side, we've got USB, which can be used for power and for live streaming. And then a simple on and off switch. On the back, We've got the MPF battery slot and a button for ejecting. On the top, we've got the two antennas. All right, so now we're gonna talk about how to connect your phone or any type of device to the Shimbolt ZO1000. So first, you can see we've got the app open right here. We're gonna click scan connection. On the actual device, you're gonna click the right button for three seconds and a little QR code will pop up. You can hold your phone right over top and it connects very quickly. And just like that, we are now connected to the receiver. So we've got the app pulled up. We'll quickly go through a few of the settings on this app. So on here, you can take a photo, you can record, you can see the peaking, zebra. You've got your picture settings, as well as more settings if you want to adjust what your display looks like. So now let's talk about usage cases. So who is this product good for? This product is good for anyone that's trying to view what the camera is seeing. I would not use this for focus pulling as there is a little bit of latency. If you just want to use this as a director's monitor or if you just want to play anything back, this product is great for that. You don't have to worry about too many cables. It uses NPF batteries, which are very easy to come by and are used by tons of different products. And it has no fan, meaning you don't have to worry about any sound coming from this device. I will say it does get warm to the touch pretty quickly, but I don't think that's a big issue. All right, so now we're gonna do the latency test. You can look at the monitor to see how bad the delay is. So if I wave here, you can see it's not too bad of a delay. It's still too much for you to use for focus on any type of large production. As I've said, if you want to use this for viewing, it's totally fine. So some final thoughts on this product are it's a great budget-friendly wireless video transmitter. And being able to go up to a thousand feet is a pretty big plus. So now we're gonna do a real life test showing how far you can get away with the transmission. It's rated for around a thousand feet, but we know that's not always the case. In our testing, we got around 740 feet to 220 meters before we started running into some issues with the footage cutting in and out. Obviously we have a few things such as cars that are parked in between us and the receiver, but I think this is more of a real life situation because it's not very likely that you will always have a perfect line of sight. 
So I think that we can safely say around 740 feet, which is a pretty long distance, you can get comfortably without having too many ins and outs with your footage. Of course, as I mentioned, the little bit of latency can be a downside for people that are using it as a professional wireless transmitter for follow focus or some directors. But if you're just looking for being able to see what's on the camera or playback, this transmitter is great. It is a very sturdy, thin design. It has a simple layout. You don't have to worry about anything getting too complicated. It's fanless, so it's nice and quiet. And it runs off regular MPF batteries. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this product or any ideas for future videos, please leave them down below.